How well do you know President Trump? I mean, not super well, but you know, I've yeah. met him. How many times have you met? Met him twice. Yeah, he's a he's a nice guy. I mean, he's cool to me. Yeah, my dad knew him. They did business back in the '80s. So, oh, really? Yeah. How about the best time or best conversation the two of you have ever had? I don't know. Um, I don't really want to like throw his business out there, but he's like a pretty funny, honest guy. I mean, from like, I mean, man to man, you know, as far as politics, who knows? But you know, he he kind of like, I don't know. He uh, he's not afraid to say what's on his mind. Why did you decide to vote for him? I didn't even vote, actually. That's uh. <laughs> Or you said you were going to vote for him. No, I didn't even say I was going to vote for him. I just said the guys, you know. Well, you or you endorsed him. I mean that. Not really. I just said, you know, in a, what did I say? I said in a world of political correctness, it's like refreshing to see a guy that's like unapologetically himself. I think something like along those lines. So it wasn't an endorsement. It was basically just saying like it's nice to see a politician that's not full of, shit, which it is, you know. And I think um, Hillary was just a complete lying scumbag, so I think she would have been a total nightmare. Um, I should have voted. I just didn't. I actually bet on the vote. I bet a buddy of mine. I actually bet on Hillary because I was like, well, if Trump wins, I'm like so happy to pay this money. And if she wins, then at least I get like a small reprieve. Um, but yeah, I was betting on her and rooting for him. So how do you think he's doing? The guy seems to be doing what he said he was going to do. I mean, like him or hate him, you know, at least I feel like a lot of presidents, they get into office and they don't do anything they said they were going to do. You know, they just promise you whatever you want to hear. And that's typical politician for me. So. 